We had a really big rain here last night. As you can see on the ground, all these puddles here. My little water collection is completely filled up. And so this is a really good opportunity to check out the Cobb test blocks. Which I have over here. So they've been out here in the weather for maybe two weeks. And they got a really big saturation last night. So I've looked at them already and kind of analyzed, you know, how they've done in regards to the amount of rain they've had. This is actually not the first rain that's uh, been down on them. So um, looking at the first one, this is the pure cob mix, just soil and gravel. And it's pretty soggy, at least in comparison. And it's pretty muddy on the outside. I can rub my fingers on it and the mud where the clay comes off. You can also notice on the top, there's been a lot more erosion as compared to the other two. So without stabilization, you do see more erosion. This whole thing is, is a little bit, just pretty soft to be honest. But you'll notice, I mean, this thing has not just melted away. It's been out here through a couple rains and it's soft, at least on the exterior, but it's not like it's just melted into a puddle. So looking at the next one, this is the one that has 5% lime and you'll see less erosion on the top. It's definitely more stiff compared to this one, which I can almost press my thumb into slightly at least. Um, it's still a little soft, but not as soft as the pure cob mix. I can kind of mold those edges so it is soft, but it's not, it's not crazy soft. So there is some improvement with the 5% lime, definitely. Now, going over here, we have a 10% stabilization mix, and this is 5% lime, 5% pozzolan. This one is definitely the best out of the three, and is definitely showing the best resistance to the moisture. If you could come and feel all of these, you would it would be very clear to you. Um, again, on the top, you see less erosion than the other two it it's definitely stiffer for sure there is some softness to it but it's not as much as the other two and um, yeah I mean it's a clear winner to me um, you know I could do some further tests you know do a 10% lime versus the 10% which here is made up of 5% lime, 5% pozzolan. So we could see like, is the mix of five and five better or just as good as 10% lime? So, you know, there's a couple things I could still test here, but um, yeah, the 10% is, uh, is definitely better. So it's, it's obvious here that the more stabilization you add, the better. Uh, we just don't want to go too high with the stabilization because um, could potentially lose some benefits of the cob, uh, such as the vapor permeability of the wall. So I'm trying not to go above 10%, but honestly I don't see why you would probably ever need to, because if you have um, a cob wall, it's going to be protected from the weather. Um, the only time it's not going to be protected from the weather is potentially during construction unless you build the roof first and then the walls underneath it. So you might have your walls get rained on a lot during the construction phase. Um, 
So this, having a 10% stabilization mix, is definitely going to keep your walls solid during that period of time. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty favorable to this 10% mix. In the future I might do a comparison between a 10% mix of uh, just lime and a 10% mix consisting of 5% lime, 5% pozzolan. So we'll see. But um, yeah, anyway, I think uh, this was a good experiment. It's pretty clear to see that the stabilization makes the cob stronger and more water resilient. As these blocks dry out over the next couple days, they're going to be solid again. Even this one, and especially these two, they're going to be rock solid again. So um, the stabilization protects the cob from the moisture, but um, even if moisture gets on it, it's going to dry out, especially if it's a, a building or structure. It's going to have plenty of chance to dry out and it's going to be a very strong wall for a long time.